Hello, I'm Christian Fraser. You're watching Context on BBC News. What role does the Franco-German alliance play in finding a solution to the Ukraine crisis? Emmanuel Macron says he was given assurances by the Russian leader that war can be avoided. Not quite, says Moscow, who today suggested only Washington can deliver the security guarantees Russia is demanding. And all the while, the build-up of forces continues at sea and on land. The 12-day blockade by Canadian truckers in Ottawa is inspiring others around the world, but not all of it is focused on Covid rules and restrictions. We'll discuss the fringe elements these protests are dragging in. And Downing Street says Boris Johnson will not be apologising for comments he made about Sakir Starmer. Despite concerns in Westminster, it fuelled a similar flash mob protest in London yesterday. Tonight, with the context, former adviser to Hillary Clinton, Amanda Renteria, and the Republican strategist, Brian Lanza. Hello and a warm welcome. For Emmanuel Macron, the visit to Moscow on Monday was a throw of the dice. Two months out from a presidential election, the chance for the French president to play peacemaker amid the worsening crisis in Ukraine was too good an opportunity. But Vladimir Putin kept him at some distance, and Mr Macron appeared strangely reticent in the press conference that followed to defend some of NATO's red lines. Politico described it as a mauling. And today, despite France's determined effort to put a positive spin on the meeting, the statement from Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov appeared to further undercut Mr Macron's authority, even his credibility, just as he touched down in Ukraine to continue the shuttle diplomacy. In the current situation, Moscow and Paris could not make any deal. It is just not possible. France is a member of the European Union and has a presidency. France also is a member of NATO, not a leader, and leadership belongs to another country in this bloc. So what kind of deals can we speak of? Mr Macron insisted he had made progress with Mr Putin and had secured a mutual commitment to de-escalate the crisis. But this morning, six Russian landing ships and a submarine sailed into the Black Sea and on towards Ukraine. There is no sign the Russian president is de-escalating, in fact quite the reverse. So tonight, President Macron, President Duda of Poland and Chancellor Schulz, who is fresh back from Washington, met in Berlin to try and agree a way forward. It comes amid some concern in Washington that they are wavering from the hardline position the White House would like them to take. So let us talk to Dr.